quilt and I am talking about this simple 11 the 11th simple whatnots club that we're doing through uh, fat quarter shop it's going to be eight mini quilts one a month and it kind of got delayed like everything because of the supply issues but we finally received it it's the close quarters it's like a plus sign quilt and you also get all the fabrics to go with it so this club the last i looked was had opened back up where you could get in it and they would send you all the monthly items uh gosh i don't remember what it cost per month 35 40 dollars maybe but um well worth it for a little quilt so what we're going to do to get started today is we are going to kind of go through the pattern and get our fabrics cut and organized then i will come back with another video where we do the plus sign blocks which are these blocks right here there's nine of them there are these blocks right here and there's nine of them then the following video will be the sashing and corner units so the sashing is in between the blocks and then there's the corner unit right there so there's four corner units and then we will piece the whole thing together in the last video so it comes with backing and binding material um it, it comes with everything you need it just doesn't come with batting and it doesn't quilt it for you but we get to do that um so let's get started with the um, pattern and cutting of the materials but i'll put a link down below to the uh, simple whatnots club if you want to follow along so it goes through all the fabrics here that you should have gotten in here um, I'm just going to at this point assume I got all of them. And it does tell you here that if you want to know how to quilt this, you can go to this shop martingale.com slash how to quilt. And it tells you which colors are bitty bricks and fat quarters. Um, so you kind of know like if it tells you to use bitty bricks. So over here we're going to just be doing the cutting right here. So it's going to tell you uh, 98, 93, it gives you the numbers so you can look at it and figure out well, what, which one is that color so that you know, so you're cutting the right one. And that's going to, we'll cut the binding strips and then uh, we'll have another strip and it says keep these pieces organized into three plus sign patchwork sets with each of the set consisting of one rectangle and two squares and then from the assorted prints which are all these we're going to cut some rectangles and squares and then there's five assorted cream prints which are all right here we're going to cut rectangles and squares out of so let's get the cutting um, and then we'll get it all organized and get ready for our, uh, get ready to sew. Okay, so here's our first cuts. And this is what, from the, what they're calling the gray. I call this brown, but they're calling it the gray. Um, so we got, we cut six binding strips, which we will set aside because we won't even need that till the end. So I'm going to just set those aside and clip them. And I've got a bag, um, I'll show you in a minute, that I'm going to keep it in. Keep all my stuff in so I don't lose track of anything. So this we need, it's going to be a plus sign. So we're going to need some rectangles and squares. So let's get that cut. Let me cut this selvage off. And let's get our rectangles and squares cut. So we need three rectangles. One. Two. Oops. Oops. cutting sitting down I don't usually cut that way and then we need six squares Two. 
that's leftover. So we really didn't have much left over from this fat quarter. Um, that little square and this little strip. And we got our binding. We got our six squares and our three rectangles out of all of this. So I don't know that I need that. I might hang on to it just in case. I don't even think it's, it's not even one and a half inches. So yeah, I'm going to throw it away. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be a future plus sign, it sounds like. So I am going to just keep these together and I'm going to clip them. So that's from what they are calling the gray. And I'm calling it the brown. So I'm going to put these aside and then we're going to move on to the 24 sorted prints. We're going to get 58 plus sign patchwork sets. So I've got a lot of cutting to do out of these right here. So I'll show you how I'm going to do one, and then I'll just come back and show you when I'm done with all the rest of them. So this is the first set of cuts we've done. Uh, I'm going to get these ironed. Okay, I got my, these are called Bitty Bricks. There's 24 of them, and they are 4.5 by 10.5 inches. So out of this, we need to get 58 plus signs. And since we have 24 fabrics, we'll cut two plus signs out of each fabric. And two plus and a plus sign consists of one rectangle and two squares. So we're going to have a lot of fabric left over. So that's what we're going to do in this. Um, you could maybe cut multiples at one time if you thought you lined them up good enough. Um, I may try that. But yeah, two two rectangles and two, one rectangle, two squares for a set. So then we need two rectangles, four squares out of each one of these colors. So let's just start with one fabric and get that cut. We need two rectangles. Actually, if we cut, doesn't say to do this, if we cut one strip, we can get a rectangle and a square out of it. So let's do that. One strip. And let's cut the rectangle. square. So we need two rectangles, so I'll cut two of those. rectangles we need. We have two of the four squares. So I'll just cut another one of these and cut two more squares out. And then that's what's left over. All of this is left over. Got enough to make another little mini quilt. So this, this is what your plus signs will look like as you're making them. And you'll have the cream fabrics in between. So each one of our bitty bricks will yield two of these. So we can put this aside, save it for later, make a mistake, you've got extra fabric. Um, but yeah, that's what's left over. So you could, you know, stack a couple of these on top of each other and cut them that way. Make, you know, less cuts for you that way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these sets together with a clip. 
So I'll have two sets of plus signs for one clip. So let's try a couple of fabrics at once. So since I have extra fabric, I will come over here and I'll just trim this off so I get a nice square end and they're all together. And then I'll turn it around. Cut one strip. I know my mom is screeching at the phone or at the can uh, the video because I need a new blade. I'm just too frugal. So there's our rectangle and our square for those three colors. We'll cut another one. A big 60 um, millimeter, is it a mil yeah, millimeter blade works great for cutting several fabrics. We'll cut the rectangle and square from those. And then we need, from each fabric, we need two more squares. So I'll cut it. And then I'll cut two squares. our leftovers and then we just did three different fabrics for plus signs so we got three cut at once so now you've seen me cut one fabric and you've seen me cut three fabrics so I'm gonna go through and cut the rest of these fabrics and then I'll come back and show you all my little all my little plus sign sets so and that and then we move on to the cream colors so here's my plus sign sets clip them so I have the same colors together I love these colors this is going to make a really pretty quilt. I've always wanted to do a plus sign quilt too. Just never have. And then those. So. I will be back when I get all the rest of my fabrics cut. Okay, here's what we have cut so far. Out of what they're calling the gray, I'm calling the brown. I've got my binding strips and I've got two plus sign sets cut out. And then out of the 24 bitty bricks we've got, I've got two plus sign sets cut out of all of these and I've uh, clipped them all together. So there's two rectangles and four squares per set. So yep, we got all these beautiful little colors here. So I'm gonna get all of this set aside because next is cutting the cream fabrics and there's five cream fabrics and they came as fat quarters and we're going to need uh, two different size rectangles and squares cut out of the cream colors so what I'm trying to do is I want to get my fat quarters lined up with all the salvages to one end here and then I will square up two of the sides and then use those sides to 
cut my strips that I'm going to need. So I've got five, i got to do some math. I got five colors and I need 84 of the three and a half inch rectangles. So I'm going to have to figure out how much I can get out of one strip and then how many of those strips I'm going to need. So first thing first, I'm going to get rid of the salvage over here. So I need a bigger like I'm catching it all. Hi mom! I know that drives you nuts. I will change the blade. Just not right now. Okay. So that side is squared up. Let's turn it and square up this right side. I'm going to just line it up on a line down here. And see how I sit with all these fabrics. So if I go on that quarter inch line right here, I'll catch everything. should be squared up now. So let's start with our three and a half inch. Let's pull it over. I'm going to use this long edge. How long is our fabric? It's let's say 20 inches. 20 inches divided by three and a half. Where's my calculator? 20 divided by 3.5 equals. So I should get five out of each one, each strip. So 85. And I've got five in each. So I'll get 25. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 out of one cut. So 85 divided by 25 equals 3 and a half. So I'm going to need 4 strips to get 85 3 and a half inch cuts, rectangles. So here's my first strip. And... Let's cut another one. So if I put my edge on three, I can see that my one and a half inch is landing on the cut on my cut. So now if I go to four and a half, it should land. Yep. Yep. So that's three and five. Yep. All my cuts are lining up where they should. Okay. So there's the one and a half inch. What I need to do is turn these, pull 
those up. I need to turn these so I can cut them into the rectangles I need. Okay, get my little one. So we need three and a half. So I'm just going to go through and cut these. Cut this at three and a half. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so three and a half. So there's five. Twenty-five. And we need two and a half inch. So look at that. I got some, yeah, I got five two and a half inches already by doing that. Okay, so we'll have to cut, we get to cut less of the two and a half inch strips. So there's three and a half, there's two and a half. So I'm going to do the same with these four strips here. Oh, dang it. Just one little thread. I know, Mom, I know. So, I'm going to get the rest of these strips cut. Okay, I'm on my last strip, and I only need to cut two more of the three and a half inch to get to my 85, because I have 75. Actually, I need 80. I'm cutting 85. 80. I'm sorry, I need 84, and I'm cutting 85. So there's 84, or 85. So now I'm going to just use the rest of this to cut my two and a half inch strips and then I'll do the math for how much more I need to cut from my fabrics and strip in strips. So because I need what was it a hundred and twenty? Oh no, I only need twenty-four. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So there's twenty-five. Okay. Read the pattern. Yep. Okay, so I am set. There's extra strip fabric right there. Here is. So I need 84 of these. I've got 85. And we keep these together by their length. So I will clip, I'll clip these because it's pretty obvious. They're the longer. And they're already like in random order. Not random order, but it's not all the same fabric. So there's my 84 of the three and a half. I need 24 of the two and a half. So I got five, 10, 15, 20, and I have 25 of these. So there's those set. Then we need 124 squares. So let's cut squares out of this. See where we, what we come up with. 25, so I got 25. And I have 20 inches that I can cut from. So I have 20 inches divided by 1.5 equals 12 pieces, 13 pieces. So let's say I need 100 divided by 13. Let's see. I can get 5. So 13 times 5 equals 65. Okay. So I can get 13 squares. I have 5 fabrics. Times 5 gives me 65 squares. So I'm going to need 2 strips. 2 times 65, yeah. So I'm going to need 2 strips no matter what. Okay. Because I've already got 25. I only need 100 more cut, but I'm only getting 65 out of 1. Of these so let's get a strip cut I 
Yep, 65 squares. So, I have 65 clear. 65 plus 25 equals 90. So I need 10 plus 25 is 35 more squares. So I'll cut another strip and then I'll just cut 35 squares out of it. So basically seven cuts. Okay. So that's extra fabric right there. That's quite a bit. So I just need seven cuts because I only need 35 more. Okay, so I've got this strip left also, and I've got all my cream cuts done. These are all my squares. I'll keep these together too. So we've got our three and a halfs, our two and a halfs, and our one and a half inch squares, along with our 24 assorted color squares, and our binding. So that's what we're going to accomplish in this video. Get all this organized. It's taken a while to cut, so need to give your shoulders a break. And then next video, we're going to put the plus sign blocks together, and there's nine of those. So here we go. Here's what we did today. All our assorted colors, including from the binding, on a, a plus sign, our binding, and our cream color blocks. So now we are ready to put our uh, plus signs together, and we will do that in the next video. So, I have... A bag. I love these bags. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them below to keep my pieces together. So I'm going to put my assorted colors in here and my cream colors because that's what we're going to use to build the top. So the bag that all my fabrics came in, I'm going to put the backing and the binding back in just to keep them separate. And I can put that in the bag also. I've got my extra fat. Ooh, I got a couple of these. I don't want to miss those. Plus sign. Then I've got all this extra fabric, which I will just keep loose in the bag just so I have it. And then I'll throw the pattern in there. And now I've got everything in one place organized all cut ready to go so that when we come back we will do the quilt we'll do the plus signs nine of those plus sign blocks there you go that's the first video of our 11th simple whatnots club um, we did all the cutting uh, for to be able to put the quilt top together I showed you how I cut it I showed you how I organized it and then I've got it all in this nifty little bag so that when I'm ready to come back, I it's all together. So if you want to see how this quilt top goes together or you're following along, hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you'll know when we uh, put up the next video, which will be shortly. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it.